Hi Pisces, welcome to Benevolent Plum Tarot. So we're going to do some love readings. I'm going to do Pisces who are in a current connection first. We'll check on check in on that. And then I'm going to do Pisces who are in separation with a person. And then we'll do uh, who's coming towards you for Pisces, for single Pisces or for those who are looking. Because not everyone who is looking is single. So we're going to go ahead and start. Oh, and then we're going to do a, a quick little pick a card at the end with just some oracle cards, like some little love messages, basically. And yeah, so let's get started with um, Pisces who are in a current romantic connection, not in separation, okay? This is for Pisces who are currently connected with somebody. We're going to check in on your person's energy. We're going to look at their mental space, their emotional space, um, and their action towards you. All right, Pisces person. Hello, kitty. Pisces person. What are they thinking? What are they feeling? What are they doing towards Pisces? For currently connected Pisces. All right. Can I be honest? I didn't like that cut. Sorry. Um, I'm a little picky about that. All right. Let's try again. Okay. All right. Eight of Cups. <laughs> Nine of Cups. The Hierophant. Okay. So let's get the driving factors for this energy first. All right, what's driving this energy for Pisces person here? Let's shuffle one more time. Okay. Not a good cut, sorry. Okay, whoops. The devil is trying to come out here. All right. Four of Cups. Huh. Okay, so I'm going to have to do some clarifying. <laughs> um, so, like, we have the Eight of Cups here in their thoughts. Um, that tends to be, like, the Eight of Cups is, like, moving away from something, wanting to walk away from something. Um, I'm not necessarily sure that's what they want to do. I don't think they want to walk away from you. I feel like there's something here, though. Like, maybe they're afraid that you're going to walk away or that they're going to have to walk away for some reason. And we do have the seven of the devil again, you guys, and the four of cups again. All right. Okay. So, <laughs> with all these cups here... <laughs> I feel like this person could be like a drinker or something. And um, yeah, for many of you, this person like drinks too much. <laughs> they may have some other like substance going on or some other attachment going on. But I feel like it's kind of affecting this connection. And I feel like, yeah, or you, or possibly could be you are drinking too much. I feel like it's more of them, but the roles can be reversed here. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling called to say. Okay, so for some of you, you're drinking too much and they're thinking about walking away because of it. Yep, Eight of Cups again coming out. Okay. All right. <laughs> so we're getting repeat cards coming out. Um, I feel like there, there's some other attachment this person has. Okay, and the truth is has come out. They discovered a truth about something. Uh, and that's there. So there's the energy of wanting to walk away from something. All right. And again, I feel like it's maybe walking their way over to the pub or something. It's like I feel like they're they're wanting to choose a substance or something rather than continue to give to this connection fully. Now, this, I see in their emotions that they feel like you are a wish fulfillment for them. All right, so emotionally, they're, they're, they want to give to you, emotionally very attached to you, and, um, yeah, emotionally, like, moving towards you. I mean, they're very, they're very attached to you. They're very emotionally, um, they're just emotionally attached to you. They, they see you as, like, a wish fulfillment type energy. They really do. Um, yeah, there's, like, there's, like, there's love there, but it's, like, it's not... The love is kind of askew because I feel like there's something going on in the mental body 
that's that's kind of fogging things up a little bit like making things you know there's a lack of clarity in the mental space here i feel like this person okay i just i'm getting that somebody is hitting rock bottom so somebody's more than just i mean like they could be drinking a whole lot they could be binge drinking that some of them are some people somebody's using like hard drugs i mean like i'm not gonna say which drugs um uh, somebody's using hard drugs, okay? And and somebody found out about it. You know, the truth was revealed. It's like they can't hide it anymore. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> Crazy. Like, so now we have the hero fence again. For many of you, this person is like you're, you know, you guys are married or you're very much in that energy. Very Like, maybe live together very much, like... Um, this is your life partner, you know, very committed. And because of this drinking or whatever this attachment is, this may be coming to an end. Okay, is what I'm getting. Um, I think some of you are just sick of this. Like, the lies that, that have been told, um, uh, like, they're, they seem to, like, keep going back to the same poison again and again. And it's like you, you know, it's like some of you are done with that. Some of you are done with that. It makes this person, too, like dull or a, not aloof but like you know it dulls their it makes them seem stupid or unattentive or there's something like that page of swords so um what's this page of swords who's that for i feel like they want to talk to you they want to communicate about this ten of uh, ten of pentacles trying to come out i'd like to get a stronger pop for that um Again, I feel like this is, for, for many of you, like, I feel like you guys are already married. Or you were going to get married. Like, or, you know, you're in that energy of this is my person for life. Um, for some of you have been together for a long time. For others, it's just, it's really, um, like, you live together or, you know. Um, but, okay. Let me get some more action Okay, let me get some more action. What's more action for uh, Pisces from their person? The Lovers. The Ten of Wands. Ace of Swords. Um, okay, so I feel like they could get clarity on this. I feel like, you know, if they're kind of like asked to choose for some, like I feel like they want to choose you. I f I'm getting this energy of like they ha they're in a position of choosing... Um, this kind of like attachment or you you know and you are also an attachment to them as well like i feel like they're quite some of them are quite codependent with you as well for some of them like you know for some yeah a new start here trying to come out so i feel like they are going to get clarity but there needs to be a conversation had or some you know if if things are if things have come out recently if lies have come out recently, there's got to be some clarity. I think there will be clarity. So we, I saw the Ace of Swords. Yep, this is the Ace of Swords here. So I do feel like there's going to be clarity on this. I do feel like there's some work to be done in this connection. There's some burdens here that need to be worked through. But I do feel like there can be a new start. I almost feel like though right now they're not really hearing it. You know, they're not really... I feel like they've been kind of um, closed off for communication or not wanting to hear what you have to say. Like if you're telling them, you know, please don't um, get drunk tonight. This is just one example. There could be, this attachment could really be for anything. But I feel strongly that some, of, like there's some, some, I feel strongly there's a big emphasis on drinking for many, okay? Um, there's, there's a lot of cups here. <laughs> well, and it's, I mean... Yeah, and I feel like some, there's just, they're hitting rock bottom. And for some, it's hard. It's like the attachment is even, you know, is a strong attachment. Could be hard drugs, okay? Um, oops. So we have the Eight of Swords trying to come out. So, yeah, they're very gripped by whatever this, can, this attachment is. And I think they would like to heal from this. They don't want to lose you. And they would like to heal from this is what I'm getting. Some of the ones are a little defensive about it as well. I think they you can be in denial and, and be defensive about this situation. So basically, the bottom line is there can be a new start. There needs to be communication and there needs to be working through through this. This person probably needs um, 
you know, some more help than really you could give them. But having a conversation with them to push them in the right direction could give them that clarity and healing they need. I feel like they would do this for you because they feel like they want to choose you. We have the lovers here. They want to choose you and they want a new start with this Ace of Wands with you. So, yeah, there's a, it's a pretty specific story. So that's not going to resonate with everybody. But for the people that it resonates with, I do feel like there should, you know, there needs to be a conversation. This person would probably be open um, to getting some some further help or um, cleaning up their life a little bit. It may they'll be defensive at first, but I do see it happening. So, all right, that's what I have there for you, Pisces. Um, so those are the Pisces that were in a current connection. Now let's look at Pisces who are in separation with their person, okay? We're going to look at your person. We're going to look at their, what they're thinking, feeling, what their actions are. So Pisces person that they're in separation with. For Pisces person that they're in separation with, what's their mental body, emotional body, what's their actions towards Pisces? Okay. And one more shuffle. All right. Okay, the Hermit. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Oh, we've got the Tower there. We have Earth signs here. So, Pisces, we have the King of Pentacles there. So, that could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And we have Strong Virgo. All right, what's the driving factors for this? And I'm definitely going to need to clarify that Tower. <laughs> Probably. Tower in the emotional body. Hmm. I, that might not be a bad tower, I'm, I'm feeling. Um, this is for people you're in separation with. So, let me see. Okay. Okay. The world upright. Two of swords reversed. All right. So... <laughs> Emotionally, I feel like I'm starting with the emotions because I'm just dragged towards that tower. And I want to clarify a little bit as well. Like, I feel like they're going through some type of transition emotionally. Um, yeah, something has come to an end. Obviously, you guys are in separation. It was a big end for them. That was an emotional, like, that was, it's like, that really was rough, okay, emotionally for them. This, can, this disconnect is emotionally... Um, very hard on them. I mean, it's the tower and it's this world. So this world is really, to me, being um, the completion of your connection that's driving this tower, right? This separation with this person has really caused them to have an emotional breakdown. Um, in their mental body, we do have the hermit. So I feel like they've really been kind of keeping to themselves, closed off the magician. I knew that was going to pop out. Like I, I, could, I knew that was going to pop out. Um, so I feel like they really are um, wanting to like change the situation. They they may even have been trying to manipulate this situation, but I feel like they want to they want something to change. They don't they're not ready to take action is what I feel. I don't think they're ready to take action. For some of you, this person is somebody that you're married to as well. Um, like this, or you were in that energy, living together. You know what I'm saying? Like living together in that that um, life partner type energy. And with this this Knight of Wands reverse, it's like they're. I think they're trying to get clarity. I think they really actually do have clarity for the most part. Actually, I feel like they've been, you know, keeping to themselves. They may be silent right now. They may have not be speaking to you at all right now. Um, but they're trying to, like, manifest something different. They want something to change here. Um, what are they trying to manifest? Like, what are they trying to manifest here? Okay. 
They're tired. Okay. So I feel like they really want to just like gain control of their emotions. So I feel like they're really wanting to manifest some type of healing here. They're exhausted. They really want to heal. This really broke them. I feel like the separation really broke them. I, they're not really speaking of it. I feel I don't think they're really showing it in their actions. Um, we have this King of Pentacles here. <sighs> to me, that would be coming towards you or wanting stability. But I also see that there's like some indecision here with that Two of Swords reversed. What's in the actions here towards um, Pisces? I wanted to say towards Virgo, so you may be dealing with a Virgo. So, Queen of Wands, Three of Swords, mm. Queen of Cups, okay. So, uh, this for, for some of you that are trying to pick between two people, and, um, wow. For some of you, not for everybody. For some of you, they're trying to pick between two people. I also feel like this person could have um, some friends or family that's kind of pulling them away from this connection. They don't want to see them hurt anymore. So I feel like there's some family that's trying to say, um, you know, move on, move past this, move past this. So I feel like they are trying to heal and they have some support around them. I don't know if that support has all the info on this connection, though. So, like, I feel like they're not informed. They just don't want to see this person hurting anymore. Um, but I do see that they're trying to pick between two people for some of you. You would know at this point. You would already know if that was the case. And we do have wands and cups out now. So, that would be fire signs. Um, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, what else? Okay. Six of Swords moving past this. Devil again. King of Cups. What else for this? What's the outcome for this? So the outcome is I feel like they do pick a direction. King of Swords. Could be dealing with an air sign. What's the outcome for this? I'm going to switch the deck. What's the outcome for this connection? Yeah, I I don't have a lot of hope for this connection. <laughs> I feel like you're really being called to move past this. You may have already been moving past this, but I feel like you're going to find much more peace when you heal from this. Oops. I feel like also they're trying to kind of work on their their own stability, this person. Um, maybe trying to make some money as well. Trying to like get forget about the emotional part of their life right now by like oh, working a lot. They may even have been like a workaholic. Or they're becoming a workaholic now because they're just diving into work or diving into projects. To try and forget about this. Um, hangman. Yeah, they're trying to get a new perspective on this. Okay. Again, I feel like there's some there's indecision here. And they're going to... I feel like... Yeah, I again... Yep. All right. I feel like you're being called to walk away from this. Um, the outcome, I don't really see... Most people, I feel like, are going to move past this. I feel like this person's trying to move past this. I feel like most people are going to, you know, are being called. Most of you Pisces are being called to move past this. Have discernment in your own situations, of course. Um, some of you, I feel like you're going to find a lot more stability once you move past this. I, and this person, too, is like, I feel like they're just really diving into, like, their projects or themselves or are really trying to keep their mind busy so they don't have to feel this pain anymore. Um, yeah, I feel like, though, like once you move past this, I feel like there's going to be uh, a lot of good, good stuff coming in for you, a lot of abundance coming in for you, but I can see that you're both really still energetically connected right now, and I don't really feel like it's serving you guys. 
All right, that's what I have. Uh -huh. All right, let's look at what's coming in for Pisces. Okay, who's coming towards Pisces? Let me pull in these cards. You know, I'm sorry, I'm always looking down at the cards. I should look up more, but... Um, all right. Who is coming towards Pisces? We're looking at the singles or those who are looking for something new. Yeah, I would prefer new rather than past energy. Who is coming in towards Pisces? Who is coming towards Pisces? Who's up in their energy? Ten of Cups. Nice. Options. The Moon. Ooh. Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful. Oh my God. Um, that looks so good, Pisces. <laughs> um, um, and there's your card, the moon, right there. So you stand in your power. I feel like, yeah, I, if I'm, wow, I feel like you have some good stuff coming towards you, Pisces. Um, I feel like you have more than one option. I feel like you have multiple options here. But we started with the Ten of Cups and we ended with the Ten of Pentacles. So emotional fulfillment and, and like, abundance of all kinds here coming in. We have the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune here. So if things have been a little hard, if things have been um, stagnant and slow, I feel like that's going to turn for you. And you're going to have emotional connections coming in. You're going to have a, a financial abundance coming in. Somebody that's real stable here coming in. I don't see any particular, like, people. Because I feel like you have options. Like, there's multiple options here for you, Pisces. Um, some people are at a distance. There's somebody at a distance here. I feel like you'd have to travel maybe to see them or they would have to travel. So maybe you're talking online or like a long distance thing for now. Um, but yeah, emotional fulfillment, financial abundance, stability coming in. Um, really nice. And it's all because you choose to stand in your power and like get your energy back. Let go of past energy. And it's just like you're, you're standing there. You already know. You're a manifester. You already know that something's coming in for you. And because you know it, it does. You know? It's uh, really beautiful. Ace of Wands. Brand new beginnings. Justice. So it could be a Libra person coming in. Uh, and the lovers. Nice. Um, could be a Gemini coming in. So I feel like you are... Um, with this nine of wands here, it's like you are not allowing people into your energy that don't belong there. I feel like you're having discernment here. I also have the queen of swords popping out, so it could be dealing with a Libra, Aquari Aquarius, or Gemini. And we have Libra and a Gemini right here as well. So I feel like you've, like you've strengthened your boundaries, right? You've strengthened your boundaries. You're not letting like people's energy... Um, in to affect you you've kind of cut those cords i feel like you're really standing in your power and you're having this brand new start this ace of wands it's a passionate new start in life in general not just love so i feel like having that enthusiasm carrying that passion for life is really going to serve you um king of cups with the eight of wands coming in as well so that's pisces cancer scorpio the eight of wands is that this energy is coming in rather quickly um i feel like it happens really fast um you know, when you when you are standing in your power and you've kind of like taken back your energy um, from old, you know, past things that aren't serving you anymore, you've cut that energy out, you're looking towards the future, um, you're standing in the present now, standing in the present but looking towards the future, um, you know, open, open to receive, that's when this Wheel of Fortune energy comes in in and things start turning around things start moving for you because this eight of wands says as soon as you're in that you know that position of standing in your power knowing that you are a powerful individual knowing that you are a beautiful person who is deserving of love and abundance that's when it comes in this eight of wands fast um 
beautiful. Yep, your ship's coming in, three of wands. So it's like, um, I love this energy. So it's like, not only do we have multiple people coming in, we have air signs and water signs. Um, I mean, basically, you know, you're spoiled for choice here. So not only do you have multiple options for, um, for love connections coming in, you have like other abundance coming in too, other opportunities as well. So I'm really loving that. It's like you, but you do have to give yourself this start by, um, you know, taking inventory of what you're holding on to, releasing it, and yeah, really stepping into your power and just getting excited about life. It's like what I'm feeling, just getting excited about life and what's next. And when you're excited about what's next, you're already open. You know what I'm saying? All right, beautiful. Love that. Let's do a quick pick a card and we'll close it out. Um, okay, so Pisces, people, I'm going to pull the cards. I'm going to pull three groups. They're just quick messages, just some oracle cards. Um, you can take this time while I pull the cards real quick to slow your breathing, take some deep breaths, get connected with your intuition. So you pick the group that is meant for you. It's going to be one, two, or three, okay? All right. I don't like that cut. All right. Picking for Pisces people. There's one, two, and three. Some cards here. Messages. Still weird. All right. Okay. Put some of these for Pisces. What do they need to hear? Groups one, two, and three for Pisces. Okay. All right, we'll get some moon cards here for Pisces. What do they need to hear? What do they need to know? What does Pisces need to know? Groups one, two, and three. These ones last. All right, for Pisces, groups one, two, and three. All right. And here we have group one, group two, and group three. All right, so we're going to start with group one. So if you picked group one, here are your messages. Elevation, I love that. We have Leo here. Playfulness. Awakening and apology. Okay, so let's read the elevation. You are making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love. Wow, and if you took part in that, um, who's coming towards you, I mean, I feel like this is for you. Um, like I said, really kind of vibing up, glowing, having your glow up here, sending in your power here. Um, there is a message, though, to not let pride get in your way. So try not to let that ego get crazy because um, I do feel like you're going to be in a real attractive space. So you already are. Um, but as you're kind of, you know, raising this vibration, try to keep that uh, humble energy as well. Confidence, of course, but... Um, don't let the pride get in the way. Um, playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. Finding that space of playfulness and joy. And we have awakening. Yes, just like, I mean, that goes right with this elevation, doesn't it? Both people in this connection are undergoing a spiritual transformation. And we have apology. You can expect the apology you want to hear. So you may be waiting on somebody to reach out. And it sounds like they're going to reach out and give you that apology. All right. Beautiful. All right. Quick messages here for group two. Vision. We have Pisces here. You may be dealing with the Pisces. Oh, you and you are a Pisces, actually. That is, that is you standing in your power. All right. 
vision. No matter what, you see the bigger picture of a loving, just universe. So I feel like you are able to kind of step back from situations and gain a broader perspective. Not only that, but we have balanced spirituality and practicality. So I feel like you're really able to um, step back, gain that broader awareness and um, or get that bigger perspective. And in doing so, you have a broader awareness is what I'm trying to say. We have healing. Imagine yourself and your lo your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. So a message of healing for you and possibly a connection. Um, but I really feel this healing message is for you because I feel like you're, um, you know, getting very balanced here. And we have play hard. Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. And we have decision. It's time to decide about this relationship. You may be trying to make a decision about somebody right now. Um, and also, there's just a call here to, like, again, find some time to have some fun, you know. All right. Those are your messages. Group two, group three. Satisfaction, time to take action, new beginning. Ooh, I like that. Okay, ooh, I love that. Satisfaction, you let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. All right, more energy of like, I feel like Pisces, you're all, you're like you're really um, stepping up into your own power. Like it's like such an over... Um, arcing message of, of every reading. So we do have new moon in Aries. It's time to take action. Now this energy, it's time to take action, is going to vibe with this new beginning and this leap of faith. So I love it. Um, you may be dealing with an Aries. New beginning, a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. So this new adventure, it's time to take action on this new adventure and have a leap of faith. It's safe to consider them, or it's safe to make the move you're considering. And then we do have a message here of um, interference. An external party is intruding on this relationship. So if you're in a connection and things are seeming a little off, it may be that there are some other things going on. That does not have to mean a third party. It could mean, you know, other things like work, um, family, friends, th anything really. So it does not have to mean third party. All right. But other than that, interference card, I love um, the rest of this is all about taking a leap of faith, new beginnings, being open to see what's next, what new adventure awaits you, and taking action not only on those adventures, but on opportunities as they're presented to you. Um, I'm going to get you one Art of Manifestation card before I close it out. This is for all the Pisces. All right, all the Pisces. So what's, uh, what does Pisces need to hear? What does Pisces need to know or hear right now? Let's get an insightful message for Pisces, please. I feel like this is not shuffling well. Okay. Uncertainty. I want to get another one for you. I get one more for Pisces. Restore balance. Okay. So for the uncertainty, that's um, number 60. Calm the noise within your mind. Get still and meditate. If you are uncertain, give yourself four hours and meditate again. If you are still unclear, wait for four days. And if necessary, four weeks, the answer will come. So if there's something that you're trying to figure out, if you're unclear about something, um, this is just a card to say get in touch with your um, natural intuition, Pisces, because you know that you are uh, the sign of intuition. And, you know, get in a receptive space and allow the answers to come in. And they certainly will. We have Restore Balance. This card asks you to notice what kind of situations, people, and circumstances throw you off balance, and more importantly, what enables you to regain balance and recenter yourself. 
Noticing heightens your awareness and creates an opportunity for you to become proactive in maintaining your ongoing balance and inner harmony. All right, that's number 46. That is your uh, Art of Manifestation messages. Um, I hope you enjoyed these readings, Pisces. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me a lot. If you are not subscribed, consider subscribing. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Much love.